It's my first Mobile World Congress hosted in Barcelona, Spain, and it's clearly the show that dominates the wireless markets. More than CES, more than Computex. This show is focused, it's compact, and for those that frequent this ring, that's actually a very positive trait to have. Everyone here and every company here is mobile in some way. There are a lot of familiar companies to our readership. You've got Intel, Qualcomm, Samsung, LG, Sony, but there are many more that you might never have heard of before, like Huawei or SK Telecom, ZTE, Netcracker. Yeah, I'm serious about that last one. What I learned at Mobile World Congress is that while mobility is definitely in the iterative stages of its life, it's still a very important market, one that bears watching, analyzing, and covering by us. LG's G5 phone offers expandable modules to differentiate, including a camera grip and a DAC for now. Samsung's Galaxy S7 improves the camera features, improves the materials, and includes SD expansion once again, which is nice. Both are going to be big sellers and both offer improved solutions for users. We're working on review samples already. We also know and learned that connectivity and SOC performance still matter. Gigabit LTE and upcoming 5G technology were all the rage everybody was showing and talking about it. But improving on reception and throughput today is crucial, just like performance is. I think that's why we've seen the uptake of the Snapdragon 820. IoT is everywhere. And I guess that's kind of the point. If you thought the PC was dead, you should probably tell the likes of Huawei, the phone giant that entered into the two-in-one market with the MateBook this week. It's impressive and uh, we're working on a full review pending that as well. Think iPad Pro form factor, but with Windows 10 and a Core M processor instead. Virtual reality is represented at MWC as well, though not as heavily as I expect it to be pushed for the rest of this year. Samsung had the Galaxy S7 and Gear VR on a 4D demo running at its booth as the mobile representative of the tech. LG showed off its own headset, though I didn't get a chance to try it out on my own. And HTC had a huge line for demos of the Vive, due out in April for $799, and it really shows the power of PC-based virtual reality, I think. And there was plenty more to see, though maybe not related to the content we usually cover here. It's clear that mobile still matters, despite some dissenting opinions that we have already hit the commoditization of the industry. It's fair to say you might see more innovation in the next three years on ubiquity and performance than you have in the previous three. We'll just have to wait. Stay tuned to PC Perspective for more from Mobile World Congress and for reviews of all of this new hardware that we found at the show. Thanks, guys. If you enjoyed this content, consider supporting in-depth technical content by contributing at patreon.com slash pcper.